Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode we had a battle between Faust and uh, Yo. Uh, I'm not sure what actually happened by the end of it. I'm guessing Yo win it, won it technically because yeah, he, he won it. Yeah, yeah, like, like after um, uh, Silva announced that he won. Uh, Faust kind of attacked after that. So I'm guessing that is technically his win. Yo's win. Yo won the match. So even though like he won the match, Faust kind of like went like, you know, uh, tried to kind of get him by the end of it and tried to like, you know, uh, like did a last struggle. But Ren came in and completely like defeated that guy. And um, as he said, like next time we're going to fight. So I'm guessing in the next match, he and Yo like is going to have the battle between each other. And I don't know, I think most probably the way it is now, Ren is a lot more stronger than Yo. So who knows, maybe like Yo will figure something out, maybe do some kind of training or something, uh, learn some kind of special technique. And uh, hopefully he can fight, you know, Ren. Um, like you know like the, the, he puts up a good fight uh, like fighting with Ren when his match comes and also in the like previous episode uh, Yo also um, like found his resolve to become the Shaman King and he like you know his uh, goal was to take it easy and he found his resolve to like he understood that yeah if I want to do that I need to get stronger and I need to become the Shaman King. So that was kind of like a motivation he got after fighting with, you know, um, Faust and also like when Amida Maru kind of like talked with him in the end and made him realize that fact. So yeah, that was another thing that happened. So let's see, let's see what this episode is about. Like Yo and Manta was also in kind of like, you know, in a little bit of danger, like he got operated on by Faust. So let's see what, like, you know, like what happened after that, what happens in this episode. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number eight of Shaman King. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, is this his mom or sister? Keiko. Wait, what? His family, isn't it? <laughs> Manoko. What the? Who are these? <coughs> Excuse me. Father. Oh damn, Manta. Oh. Which doctors? Shaman, I'm guessing. Yeah, so he's he's one of the rich, you know, has a rich background. Oh my God, here we go. So this will be like a, like, you know, a family problem. Like in Manta's like, you know, Manta will have this kind of problem. Uh, like, you know, demanding parents. Like, I don't want you to make friends here. You will go to America with me and we, like, you know, you'll have a great future ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's see how he resolves this because I'm guessing Yo, like Yo cannot do anything in this situation. Like Manta himself has to like, you know, stand up for himself and say that, nope, I'm not going. I'm not leaving here and I want to be his friend. Like, he has to stand up for, up for his, himself.
Okay, I know. thank God Mantha is okay, like nothing much happened. Like, you know, like, uh, but obviously like uh, Faust kind of, like, you know, kind, like did a little bit of cut. It was not, nothing fatal. So, yeah. Evolution. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's thinking like he has a dream. What what do I have? What? Wait. What? What's happening here? Wait, what? Wait, didn't he win? Wait, what happened? What? Oh, this must be a dream. I'm sure about it. Like, you won't say something like this too. I, I don't think... I think this is a dream. You won't say things like that to Manta. He's dreaming, isn't it? Oh, uh, wait. Wait, is this really happening? This is really happening, isn't it? I was thinking this is a dream. What? Wait, wait, what's happening? Is he concerned about him because he's will he will be in danger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, Ren is there. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, I was saying that, like, he needs something. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. But he he missed. Oh no. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Little thing is <laughs> What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Like no one's born with that, like, you know? Damn. <laughs> what was that? Oh, damn. Sushi back and <laughs> Wait. Oh, wow. Great. That's good. Now, 
let's see yours like you know hometown okay there you go Sixth sense. Hmm. Oh. Wh what? Huh? Whoa! Seven days. Huh? Oh wow! My God! Oh wow! That's a good way to train the sixth sense. Yeah. So the sixth sense will heighten. Okay. Okay. Damn, and that's scary, you know, like losing all your five senses just so that you can train your sixth sense. Like you won't feel anything, taste anything, hear anything, see anything. Smell anything. Ebook. Mm. He looks weird with his hair. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Why so negative? Hmm, <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, true, true. He himself wants to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so straightforward. Nice. Is <laughs> more Mount Sunday. Okay. Asakura Shugakudo. Who the? Who is this? Oh, it's small one long. Oh, Ryu and Manta. Wait, she cannot speak? Oh, she's shy. I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Far from perfect. Oh. Wait, should you like dismiss like. Seven years. Wait. She can talk to. Oh, it's the spirits. Conchi and Conchi. Uh, okay. Tamamura Tamao, okay. Conchi and Conchi. <laughs> okay. Wow, oh my god, yeah, this, this is freaky, this whole thing, like, you know, all, without any senses.
Oh, damn, <laughs> Ryu has his. <laughs> Ryu and his. Oh! <laughs> I mean, his hair. Oh my god, poor Ryu. Oh my god, is that on? Is that what I think it is? This is Tanuki, isn't it? Oh, she's like Hinata from Naruto. Oh my god, I'm feeling uncomfortable looking at Manta. <laughs> Oh wow, she's like a crossbow, damn, the kitsune turned into a crossbow, cupid. What? No, stop! Oh my god! Oh, Anna. Is that Anna? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Dude, their attacks are so weird. Like, you know, like... Oh my god, they lied. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love this the way she <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Great mm, mm, That's not it like Yeah True. Like it's because she lo loves him, that's why sh she will not do it. Oh. What's happening? 10 meters left. Or, okay. Oh, damn. Is he coming out? Yeah. He's a changed person. Let's see how he changed. <laughs> yeah, he's the same, I'm guessing. <laughs> All right. Damn, you, you should kind of like, you know. Okay. So he got stronger, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it is big. One seventy one people. Oh, okay, that's a lot of people. Yome and Keiko. Oh, grandpa and mom, okay. Kasa. 
Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well. Hmm. Oh, grandpa's here. Oh. What? He has a guardian ghost? Oh, he, he was talking about uh, Amida Maru. Okay. I think he was talking about Manta. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Yin Yang technique, the hundred Shikigami. Okay, Amidamar can handle them, I'm guessing. Oh. Okay, there you go. Oh. Oh wow, that looks cool. Oh, so that's the title evolve. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, that's good. Evolve forever. Oh. Okay. All right. So, so I'm guessing, like, as he evolves, like you know, the appearance of the of Amdaman will also change. Who, who is this? Oh, is this Ren? Milk and Tal has <laughs> gone home to China. Oh wait, the mom also went to China, didn't she? Uh, oh. Oh, that's why he's wanting to become a shaman king. Hmm. Oh, okay. The shaman white phoenix. Okay, so this is his actual motivations. All right. Okay, so I'm ge getting what his actual like you know, uh, you know motivations, intentions are. So he's more like the uh, like you know like he also has a goal like a pretty serious goal here like his 
going against his family and to stop uh like you know as he said the shackle of um, the cycle of hatred he wants to become that person who can stop it in his family so that's his motivations <clears throat> and now even though it's like you know as a, like i can understand like it's like a very what can i say um uh like what's the word um a very like not danger yeah kind of dangerous in a way because he's trying to go against the family that he is in like you know so it's like he's trying to kind of rebel against them kind of like that so in, in a way it's kind of a little dangerous in that department but also it's kind of the only thing like his goal is pretty serious like that's basically it like you know like it has some serious like it can have some serious repercussions if he handles it in any wrong way like he's trying to rebel against his own family so that's pretty serious now okay that's it now i i'm guessing he is the uh, type of uh, okay uh, yeah uh, just a sec okay what was i saying yeah i'm guessing like he's the type of guy who is like yeah to uh, like you know to um reach my goal i'll do a goal i'll do anything and like that's why he probably like killed the um, like you know I, I don't know why he had to kill that the, the guy um you guys remember the, in the previous i think in the two episode previously um the other guy who was i'm guessing a friend of silva uh, who is also like one of those uh, like tests like the people who tests them uh he killed him didn't he i don't know why he killed him like i i'm not like i'm not so sure about it because obviously like, like it seems like as he like explained his own um i'm talking about ren as he explained his own uh, circumstances in this episode i don't really understand why he need to kill that guy like you know like maybe that guy did like you know like like we didn't even see what happened with them so maybe there's an other part of the story you know like we are just kind of assuming everything kind of seeing the last scene where we see him and that guy being killed so maybe something else happened there i'm not actually sure but silva seemed pretty like you know uh, uh sad and angry after he saw uh that guy dead you know like i'm guessing he was his friend most probably and so i don't know like like so i'm guessing he's kind of twisted because of that you know like as he said that like nothing will stand in front of me i'll reach my goal his goal is pretty um, what can i say pretty uh no not noble like i'm really not finding the word to actually describe him he's like in a very complicated position like you know it's noble in a way because as he said that i want to stop this like you know uh, like the to families um <clears throat> like you know cycle of vengeance and everything and that's why i want to become the shaman king so that i can stop that like that's very noble in a way but the way he's doing everything is not so noble so it's kind of like that i'm not actually sure like we barely know anything about ren so i'm sure we'll get more information about everything and i might change my mind later on like you know just like uh, like f before this episode i was thinking like why was you like you know ren like this like you know why is he trying to like you know he's killing people and like not doing like you know like, like he's kind of like r ruthless and violent and now i'm kind of understanding it a little bit after this episode like he's kind of he became this kind of a twisted person because of his family like you know familial circumstances i'm guessing so maybe because of that maybe more things will come into light in the future episodes so unless and until we get to learn more about you know ren i probably like you know i probably will keep hold of my um like opinion on him because i'm still not sure what to actually think about him so i'll wait like in the next episode as uh, like you know we're probably going to see uh, yo versus ren so i'm guessing we'll get to know more about ren in that like episode so maybe some more things will come into light so let's see let's wait for that episode all right so this episode uh, here we see like <clears throat> like i was not expecting this episode like you know an episode like this where we see how manta himself kind of like you know is um 
facing his own problems and it was nice to see like you know him kind of get a spot like you know uh, importance here and we got to see his familial background mantas uh, so I, i'm guessing like he is uh, like from a rich background as his father like you know like seemed quite you know well off like they had a butler so i'm guessing so <clears throat> and yeah like so his parents seem kind of like you know as i kind of explained those type of parents who like you know says that yeah i want your best but at the same time does not like listen to their kids and like as we saw here like uh, her mom like you know his mom and dad both of them like i'm sure they have their best intentions in their mind uh, mantha's best in intentions in their mind but in that process you know they're kind of going against mantha's wishes which is kind of like you know counterproductive in a way so like like these situations happen like not only in the anime but in real world as well where like you know parents kind of become so obsessed with like yeah i want the best for my children that they kind of start going against the wishes of their own children and the children get stressed out and like lots of things like i'm not going to talk about those things you know like that's a complete different thing but it was a situation like this here as well where we see how mantha says that like you know like always study you know like that's all you care about like you know uh, study more study more and like uh, like you know become a like better at uh, like you know like at school and everything and you don't care about my feelings and all like when she, he was kind of lashing out at his mom so that's what i'm talking about you know like like what like what his father did is like was basically coming in and saying that oh like you you have a friend now uh, that friend friend has a dubious background so you should probably not be like you know be friends with him and we're transferring you to america just so that you can study like that's what basically his father said and did and he slapped him so like i'm guessing his mom is a little bit more i don't know um understandable not actually sure but his dad seemed very stubborn you know as he just came and went and <clears throat> yeah and like you know like uh, like like i'm uh, like i i get it like in a way like their parents like in the parents perspective like they don't even know who yo is and like all they know is like oh they're witch doctors they're people who we should not associate with so i'm sure like they want the best for mantha so that's why like they were saying something like that but in mantha's perspective that is not what was actually happening in mantha's perspective what he was actually seeing was that oh i like i made one of like you know a good friend of mine and now my mom and dad are telling me to uh, like you know uh, <clears throat> not talk with him not interact with him and go to america leaving my friend my only friend here the friend that i had like you know fun interacting with my one and only friend like like now my mom and dad is telling me to kind of like you know uh, like forget about him and go to america and study like like that's from his perspective so obviously he was not happy with that and from his mom and dad's perspective it was something that they were doing to for the best of mantha but at the same time like you know like you should like whenever you like do something you should always like put yourself on the shoes like what would probably mantha think if like i don't know like you know like if if something like like this the pens should have thought about it that like you know like his own one and only friend like if we tell him to kind of <clears throat> forget about him and like you know stop on like uh, interacting with him how will he feel so but you know like as i said like uh, people usually forget as they like you know like adults especially as people grow up they kind of like forget about small little like you know things like these but this is this is something like you know like uh, that we see in a lot of animes in especially in like not only in animes in a lot of like real world situations as well stuff like this happens but like usually in these types of situations the thing that one sh the things that it's best you know is the person who like you know who is uh what can i say like manta here like manta is the person uh, who is the main person here like like the best thing that he could do is even though he like you know got slapped and everything he should probably as like he kind of did it in the end like you know like he should protest that no like 
like this is like one my one and only friend i will not stop contact like you know interacting with him i'll because i like <clears throat> you know like he's my friend i like talking with him i like spending time with him so i won't do that and that's my wish he kind of basically did it in the end like that like you know when he was sitting down on the in the airport and uh, like you know by the end he kind of said that like you know like i i don't care like i'm going back and like i want to talk with you so i won't listen to you so that's what he's basically did in a way so yeah now i'm not actually sure whether this got i i doubt this got resolved i'm sure something like this will happen again in the future when you know the dad might come and like do something else uh i don't know <laughs> like like th th this is not resolved so i'm guessing like something like this might happen in the future again and who knows how they will handle it in that episode like i don't know let's like you know but for now i'm guessing this is kind of resolved so yeah <clears throat> and we also met ryu in this episode where like you know he was also going to go to, like you know become a sushi chef and <laughs> that was nice his his hairstyle is freaking funny it's like you know those uh, what are those called those things um i'm forgetting the name uh, what is the name like those little things which you kind of open and there's a little thing in it and you open that little thing and there's another little thing just a sec it's called ma ma matryoshka isn't it yeah matryoshka doll yeah <laughs> it looks like that his hair <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> okay <laughs> but <laughs> but like you know like uh, what was the name of that girl i forgot um tamao tam ana tam ta yeah tamao tamao <laughs> Uh, her spirits they cut it off again and it looks like uh, weird like his hair looks uh, like hair looks even weirder now it looks like a two layered you know like those swiss rolls <laughs> oh my god i don't know how it will like you know grow again whether it will grow properly or not but <laughs> oh my god and oh another thing um tamao spirits one was a tanuki and the other was a kitsune wasn't it so <laughs> the way they were attacking like oh my god like especially the tanuki like <laughs> oh my god that was that was, that was a, like a weird type. like <laughs> Like, like the kitsune was peeing on him and the tanuki was oh my god okay anyways uh. <laughs> um i don't know if that's a tanuki or not i think it's a tanuki but i might be wrong you know and uh, yeah and in the end we see like you know um <clears throat> like we also see like uh, tamao's power like she she can go into uh, like you know like uh, she can fuse with her like that's an that was an oversoul wasn't it like tamao's oversoul that he she did in the end so yeah and thankfully anna came in <laughs> like you know in like in the nick of time and stopped it and like tamao really reminds me of hinata from naruto like you know the whole thing with like kind of um uh you know secretly <laughs> <laughs> secretly kind of keeping an eye on um yo and like you know uh, like being shy and everything uh, wanting to do something from uh for like yo even though she knows that she has no chance in getting his affection or something so yeah that really reminded me of hinata but anyways and <laughs> like the, the thing that anna did was so <laughs> like oh my god like that was some what can i say like the 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 thing that anna did like he she said that uh, it's okay like i'm your wife and you're his fan so like it, it's all all right you know <laughs> oh my god wow like <laughs> like she has a quite a like uh, like amazing personality like i'm talking about anna 
You know, like I've never seen a character like this before, especially in anime. Like she is so brutally honest and so straight, like you know, straight to the point type of a person. And yeah, like like it's quite rare in anime. <clears throat> All right, and then like in the end, we see Yo like completed his training and everything. Like I'm guessing, like uh, like he like he passed it obviously. Like as he as they like you know they went to, through the training, all the senses were shut off, and that's that's why the sixth sense was only left, and the sixth sense kind of increased, and that also increased the uh, oversoul power, the furyoku. And they like did a little bit of training in the end with his grandfather. And okay, like we get to know about the family. So his grandfather is there and his mom is there. And they said that the mom is in China now. And um, like in the end, we also see that um, uh, Ren's sister, I forgot her name. Uh, like she also went to China. So like, I don't know, like probably like, I don't even know, like, like probably they'll meet or something. Or who knows like that might not be it but you know that they're, they're, they're going to the same destination so like who knows and anyways and then we get to uh, like you know the, the little fight that little training that happens with the shikigami and like uh, the hundred shikigami like training that he did and amida manu kind of like you know slashed everything and it's really cool to see that his uh furyoku kind of changes you know like this thing happens in like in video games and all when you like level up like you know a certain amount like the like you know the changes in um the pictures of the certain characters you know like they get bigger stronger and like you know cooler like it's something like that like you, you, you like yo's uh, appearance the, the appearance of the oversoul it changed and it looks really cool now you know and obviously like uh, amida maru can talk now that's even better and uh, excuse me and uh, yeah, so I'm so who knows, maybe by the end, you know, like as he grows in power more and more, maybe like he'll get a full body armor, you know, of Amida Maru. Like he only has his hand covered now. So it's kind of increasing the armor. So who knows, like maybe the final form is Amida Maru completely becoming uh, like, you know, a full armor, a full samurai armor. And like, you know, uh, Yo will be able to kind of uh, fuse with it and he'll become even more stronger like that like that would be really cool you know like seeing uh, that type of an over soul kind of like fusion thing where like amida maru is like a full-blown samurai armor and yo is kind of fusing with it and they're fighting with the you know the the uh, katana and i don't know like that's just something i thought and uh yeah, and then in the end we see the Ren portion. Oh, and they uh, they make up um, Amida, uh, Yo, and um, Manta, and uh, it was uh, like you know it was like thankfully it uh, like went so smoothly. Like they did not spend much time into the whole drama thing. Like you know like Yo like the whole awkwardness did not last between them, and it got resolved in only one episode. And I'm glad about that. Because I really do not like when these type of misunderstandings, you know, kind of drag on and on like one, two, three, four, five episodes. It's really annoying. So like, thankfully, like obviously this is a shonen anime, so I doubt something like that will happen, like, you know. So, but you know, I'm thankful that like this thing got resolved in only one episode, like, you know, and they're like, again, good friends now. And... Uh... <clears throat> And then we see Ren's, uh, like, you know, Ren's uh, life, uh, like how he, like, you know, his, his circumstances and we get to see like, so the, the thing actually like, like, correct me if I'm wrong. So like his family is um, like, you know, trying to become like, you know, just a sec, what? Okay, uh, yeah, so the family is going, uh, like, you know, uh, trying to get revenge for something so that they can uh, go back to the former glory. But I'm guessing uh, Ren thinks that that's not the way you should do something. Like, if you, like, go towards the revenge path, it will become a cycle, a cycle of hatred. And, yeah, that won't be good. So, like, Ren wants to become the shaman king so and become the head of the family so that he can break this cycle. So... Like, correct me if I'm wrong, as far as I understood, that is what's actually happening. And Bas like, Basan is, like, as he said, that, so Basan is a, 
uh, spirit who is who has been serving uh, in the family for quite a long while so as he said you know and he says that like his horse if he had his horse he would have been more stronger but like you know uh, like but you like you know ren gave him a substitute horse i'm guessing uh, what was the name white phoenix wasn't it the name of the horse um okay uh, the name of his original horse is black peach and uh, just a sec white phoenix yeah so uh, i'm guessing is that like a substitute for him like he says something like but in order to use the shaman horse black peach um didn't to gift me the horse white phoenix so i'm guessing he gave him the horse as a substitute i'm guessing isn't it yeah i think so so yeah but you know and like as i said like i will keep my uh like you know uh <clears throat> what can i say like i'll still not form any opinion about ren okay like, like i'll make not make any kind of uh opinion about him because we still don't know much about him a little bit of information was uh, said in this episode but that's not enough so i'll keep my opinion of him currently on hold and as we get more information i'll probably try to understand what he is actually trying to like you know like as i said like i'm feeling kind of mixed signals with him like he's doing this as for a noble cause but at the same time he has killed people because of that so it's kind of like that's why i'm saying like i'm getting mixed signals from him so i'm still unable to understand his actual personality uh maybe as i said like maybe he got twisted so much that the only thing like you know the only goal he is thinking is like yeah i want to become the shaman king to uh, like you know save my family and like i'll do anything for that and even like do bad deeds for it so that's why he's killing like maybe something like that or maybe it's something completely different i'm not actually sure let's just wait for it and like you know like uh like uh, like up until now she like he's kind of like in the gray zone where he's neither a good person nor a bad person like you know like kind of like that so yeah i'm guessing in the next episode we'll have the fight so probably we'll get more information on him so yeah that was it so that was this episode so uh let's see if i missed something or not um Oh wait a minute! I forgot to mention the biggest thing. You lost the match. Oh yeah, you lost the match. Oh my god, I'm I'm mixing everything up. Uh yeah yeah. In the next in the previous episode, he lost it. Yeah. Oh god. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Like in the beginning, I I say that like you know he won the match technically, but no, like I completely like like mixed it up with something else. You lost the match. That was the reason why he got the motivation. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> ah. Like you know, I apologize for that. Like in the in, in, uh, just in the beginning of the reaction, I say that uh, like you know, like uh, you when won the match, and then when they say that you lost the match, I was thinking like he lost the match. But now that I think about it properly, yeah, he lost the match. Like because he lost the match, he got got the motivation of okay so yeah that that got cleared up now like oh god I, I think i mixed that thing with something else completely like you know and uh yeah so yeah that was that was it so thank you guys for watching this was uh the eighth episode uh episode number eight of shaman king so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below and uh like anything you want to say or anything you want to like you know about this episode in general i'll check them out so so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day